Howdy everyone, WarsRC here, and today we'll be looking at Runefall 2 on PS5. Runefall 2 is a match 3 game comparable to games like Bejeweled, but differentiating itself by not being about getting points, but instead having the main goal of traversing across the level to collect the Chronicle Rune pieces by breaking all the pieces around it. As you combine pieces on a certain side of the screen, the screen will move more in that direction, allowing you to travel across the level. You can fill a jump meter that will let you jump to any point of the level without having to travel there bit by bit, and the meter is filled faster by matching shield pieces. As you break through certain pieces like stone and wood, they get stored in your region resources which can be used later on and as is tradition with these types of games by combining more than just three pieces at once you can make special pieces which upon activation will make an explosion that will clear around it. Each level has a few bonus sequences in the top left of the screen meaning if you break specific pieces in a certain order you'll get bonus resources from them. Not only that, but there's also a bonus objective that varies from clearing all the grass, exploring the whole map, doing a certain amount of sequences, and getting a certain amount of resources, among other things. Many levels also have a treasure chest that you can use a key on that can be found in the level which, upon unlocking, can contain the map to a secret bonus level or an other item. Some items are used for completing quests, while others can be used in the level they're found in. Between levels, you'll visit the main area where you can accept quests that will give you bonus rewards such as new power-ups and other items. Said power-ups can be used as many times as you want in a level, but are recharged by matching pieces, recharging faster by matching blue potions. When starting a level, you're given the option to choose between relaxed with no time limit and timed where you'll have a time limit but get a bonus. So whether you want a challenge or a completely laid-back experience, that's up to you. One thing I want to mention is that there is a story for this game and it's fully voiced and told through visual novel style scenes. It's not anything spectacular in my opinion, more so feeling like just a little addition to set up the actual gameplay between levels, which is where this game truly shines in my opinion. Overall, I like the laid back experience it provides. There's no rush to get through the level and you can take as much time as you want, making as many combos as you please and taking your time to 100% it. And since this is the collector's edition, there's a few extras such as an album of the backgrounds featured in the game, a digital strategy guide, and an extra mode called Phineryx Quest which unlocks upon completion of the main game. So overall there's plenty here and if you're looking for a non-stressful game to take your time with or in the opposite case, something to time yourself with, then this game may just be for you. So if you want this game yourself, it's available on the PSN store for $15. I'd like to thank Ocean Media for sending me the review key. This is WarsRC on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out.